Hey plant gang, I'm here behind Celtis occidentalis. This is my favorite hide and seek tree on campus. It's a very large Celtis occidentalis or hackberry specimen that we have here on the University of Tennessee campus and it is beautiful and it's quite large. Now this isn't necessarily a tree that is used for the home landscape. Uh, but it is gaining quite a bit of favor as a street tree because of its toughness and its durability. Here we find it in its full glory, uh, growing quite large. Uh, it is a tree that is native to North America and can be quite beautiful as it gains maturity. Again, Celtis occidentalis, the hackberry. Uh, this is an elm relative, it's in the Olmaceae family. 40 to 60 foot high, can spread out 40 to 60 foot wide. Hardy from zones three through nine. So think about what a wide swath of the country uh, that this can handle. Uh, it's again, kind of picked up a little bit of steam as a street tree, in particular in the Great Plains uh, in the US. Kind of a dirty yellow fall color, yellowy green almost. Again, hardy from zones three through nine. Can get leaf spot, some witch's broom, powdery mildew. Uh, it also you know, has a tendency to attract lace wings, uh, which, uh, then lead to uh, a lot of kind of sap and moldy sap that falls off of the tree as the insects excrete that sap. And here's a landscape tip. Good tree for many different situations performs admirably under adverse conditions. <laughs>